Hey guys, what's up? It's Nuclear Videos HD, and I'm here with the Simpsons Tapped Out 4th of July Update 2016. We've got some dialogue here with Kent Brockman. Mayor Joe Quibby reaches the end of his ninth term of office today. Amid accusations that he may have violated Springfield's one-and-done one term limit legislation. <clears throat> as well as the Time to Go Joe Act and the more recent Mayor Quimby, we are taking talking to you. Please just leave referendum. In light of these charges, Mayor Quimby has graciously agreed to be dragged, kicked, and screaming from his office. Who will the new mayor be? Let's meet the candidates. Alright, so we have some dialogue here for some quests that involve the 4th of July update. And we have a guild deal in the store, which we'll go and get that. Um, my game still lagging, so I do apologize for that. But the guild deal looks pretty cool, so... Um, Hopefully we can get that without Gil lagging out on us. Because, of course, he's got to be on the other side of town, so it's lagging out pretty bad. But I guess we'll have to see. So Probably not going to go through the entire quest line for the 4th of July update just because it's lagging. And uh, I'm not at my own house right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm at my girlfriend's house, so we were painting her house. And Oh, God, please don't lag out. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back and I have located Gil. Let's check out what he has to say. I do love celebrating America with a 4th of July camping trip to one of our national parks. That's why I created the park system, bro. You're welcome, America. Wow, Teddy Roosevelt, 26th President of the United States and famous naturalist. Yep, I love nature all right. Now let's go shoot the biggest animal we can find and eat it raw. Nothing puts hair on your chest like moose carp carpaccio. <laughs> carpaccio. Reconnect with the out with reconnect with the great outdoors and add this teddy bear to your Springfield. Wow! So you get this national park with tons of cool animals and Theodore Roosevelt for your towns. Very nice. So I'm gonna decline that for now. Well, at least I still have my cave to sleep in. Quite complaining. Quit complaining, bro. A cave is luxury accommodations. I once survived the whole winter with no more shelter than a single pine needle. Stayed warm with vigorous calisthenics, and if I'd stopped for a minute, I'd froze to death. I was president at the time. People don't like to imagine their leader doing jumping jacks for three long, desperate months in 12 feet of snow, but this happened. Swear to God. What the hell? Okay, so I'm declining that for now just so I can go to a more, more, uh, less condensed area so I can plop this down. There is another decoration in the store, which we will purchase as well. You guys will see that in a second. Um... As for the decoration that we just got from Gil, it is huge, so I'm not really too sure yet whether or not that's going to be worth it to purchase or not, but it is definitely huge, so um, I'm going to definitely have a hard time trying to fit a national park into my already small Springfield, so that's going to be a little bit of a tough situation, but I guess you know we'll have to make it work some way or another, so okay. So let's go over to where it's a little less condensed, okay? So much crap going on, so much crap. Oh, Jesus, okay. Ah, oh, man, I really do apologize, guys. I'm so, so, so frustrated with this. I'm literally trying my hardest, so. It just does not want to cooperate, so. Definitely, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm just, I'm probably just gonna have to delete so much stuff from my town and just put it in later on because I think it's just the fact that I have so much stuff going on that it's just way too much for it to handle. Heh, <sighs> I don't know. But anyway, let's just place this thing down so we can check it out because I'm very interested to see what the uh, National Park does. So if we can just find an area, maybe right here. Alright, so let's go check it out. So the National Park Guild deal. Alright, at least it'll fit right there. So we'll pl place this down. You'll take it great. With this sale, I'm moving up the property ladder. Goodbye, cave, and hello, hovel. Ooh, Teddy Roosevelt. Speak softly and show dialogue in a big font. Teddy Roosevelt. Fourth of July. Ooh, very nice. Okay. He is our fourth president we've gotten, starting with Abraham Lincoln, then Washington, then Nixon. Now, Roosevelt. Okay. Let's check out what he has to say. Our country, this great republic, means nothing unless it means the triumph of what the, where am I, where did the White House go, and why am I the only person wearing 
pince nez eyeglasses. President Theodore, or <laughs> President Teddy Roosevelt, I was just wondering which ex-president would appear in our Springfield this 4th of July. You mean I'm not the first? Not even close, sorry. Nice glasses, by the way. Snickers. <laughs> yeah, super cool. You look awesome. These glasses were the height of fashion in my day. I should explain how you got here. You see, every July 4th, a rift in the space-time continuum opens, and what? What are you doing? Knee bends, vigorous squatting is the key to a powerful manly physique. Okay, great. Anyway, as a champion of the National Park System, what do you think of our new park? Beautiful. Now, if you'll hand me that shotgun, I'm going to hunt every living creature in it to death. Whoa. It's a little feisty. Well, now that Roosevelt's here, I guess we know who the big four presidents in U.S. history are. That's true. No reason to bring back any but the cream of the crop. Here's to the best of the best. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Theodore Roosevelt, and Richard Nixon. Ah, uh, yeah, nice to be here. I wonder which one of us is the greatest, though. I know, like, we're all great, definitely, but if you had to choose one, is it me? Is it you? Geez, that's a tough one. Four really strong contenders. Let's all go around and name accomplishments we are most proud of. Oh, let's not. It'll be fun. I'll start freeing the slaves. Winning the War of Independence. Re reigning in out-of-control corporations. Resigning before formal impeachment proceedings <laughs> could begin. Era open relations with China? Too late, right? Yeah, yeah, Dick Nixon thought so. Make presidents argue about legacy. So, want to check out Theodore Roosevelt real quick. He has no voice, uh, unfortunately. He can compete for mayoral candidacy. Oh, that's, that's part of the uh, quest. But he can argue about legacy... Go hunting for 24 hours, take refreshments, lead the charge, catch up on history, and give a speech. So I want to make him go hunting over in the National Park so we can check it out. Okay. So he's just standing there shooting all these animals. We got some birds. We got a dolphin. We got a bear up there. Oh my god, he's just shooting them all. Okay, so the Springfield National Park is very cool. It, it does look very cool. I'll give it that. Um, when you click on it, it gives off a sound. Like a beautiful National Park kind of sound. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't earn any rate, but I believe when you click on it, the animals come out. Okay, so every single time you click on it, a different animal comes. So, like, the first time I clicked it, the raccoon, then the bear, then the dolphin, and the bird. So, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, like I said, we do have one more decoration that we can get. Uh, I just want to move this stupid place over. Oh, please don't lag out. Okay. Alright, so let's check out what else we got in the store. So, in the 4th of July store, we have the American flag, the pinwheel firework, the patriotic box of fireworks, and the hollow flag all returning. And we have the new decoration, which is Old Faithless. So let's plop that down. So it's just an old geyser, which looks pretty cool. Um, let's see what it does. I'm very excited. Ooh. So when you click on it, it spews out water like a geyser does, and then the little moat around it kind of fills up. So that's very cool. I do like that a lot. That is awesome. So this, amongst other decorations, can be placed by your uh, your more nature-esque part of Springfield, you know, your Wild West or whatever. So this definitely could fit in very good there, especially now that we have this cool new national park. And uh, that's pretty much everything for the 4th of July update. I do apologize that I'm not going to be showing off the Theodore Roosevelt <clears throat> or the 4th of July dialogue. Game's just lagging out way too hard to be flying around my Springfield, but I am glad that I could show off this content. Well, there you go. Not too sure if the content is worth it. Maybe the National Park, because you do get one of the presidents, which is a very cool character to have. But the geyser, eh. It is cool, but it doesn't do much or add much to your Springfield. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and um, hopefully you guys uh, 
are going to make the right choice when purchasing these items. Um, let me know in the comments section if you guys are purchasing the National Park. And I do apologize for my game lagging out so much. I am definitely trying to fix it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will definitely be back with you guys very soon. Keep on tapping and peace. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down in the comments section below. Also, be sure to check out some of my other pages, including Instagram, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter, whose links will all be located in the description below. Also, feel free to email me at nuclearvideoshd at gmail.com. Keep on tapping and peace out.